Disingenuous. He stands as a beacon of truth. He is a Buki Cabal. You are listening. To a Buki Cabal. Welcome to the Abuki Cabal Show. What's going on, everybody? Today, uh, we're going to be talking about science. Abuki's take on science and technology. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe. And take a moment to hit that notification button. Uh, today, we're going to cover... A, uh, a new scientific development that uh, has come along uh, and it's dealing with birthing pods. You know, I'm, you know we're, we're big fans of the Matrix over here and um, we are starting to see uh, some of that technology coming uh, into uh, reality. So I'm going to share with you guys uh, a little about that and, uh, you know, what's going on with... Uh, these new scientific developments that are, are, uh, are going to affect us, you know, as men and women in the future. And, um, you know, see what you guys, you know, kind of think about that. Um, it looks like uh, it's not going to necessarily be. Um, ooh, not going to necessarily be. Um, necessary for uh, us to have uh, women uh, in order to have children. Uh, it looks like they're going to be able to um, do it uh, artificially and outside of um, the normal uh, way of conceiving. So um, let's take a look at that. There is a video here that is a promotional uh, video for the technology. So here we go. Introducing Ectolife, the world's first artificial womb facility, powered entirely by renewable energy. Ectolife allows infertile couple to conceive a baby and become the true biological parents of their own offspring. It's a perfect solution for women who had their uterus surgically removed due to cancer or other complications. With Ectolife, premature births and C-sections will be a thing of the past. Ectolife is designed to help countries that are suffering from severe population decline, including Japan, Bulgaria, South Korea, and many others. The facility features 75 highly equipped labs. Each state-of-the-art lab can accommodate up to 400 growth pods or artificial wombs. 
every pod is designed to replicate the exact conditions that exist inside the mother's uterus. A single building can incubate up to 30,000 lab-grown babies per year. EctoLife allows your baby to develop in an infection-free environment. The pods are made of materials that prevent germs from sticking to their surfaces. Every growth pod features sensors that can monitor your baby's vital signs, including heartbeat, temperature, blood pressure, breathing rate, and oxygen saturation. The artificial intelligence-based system also monitors the physical features of your baby and reports any potential genetic abnormalities. The pods are equipped with a screen that displays real-time data on the developmental progress of your baby. These data are sent directly to your phone so you can track your baby's health from the comfort of your zone. The app also provides you with a high-resolution live view of your baby's development. A special section in the app allows you to watch a time-lapse of your baby's growth and share it directly with your loved ones. Because babies can recognize language and learn new words while still in the womb, EctoLife Growth Pods feature internal speakers that play a wide range of words and music to your baby. Through the app, you can choose the playlist that your baby listens to. You can also directly sing to your baby and make them familiar with your voice before birth. Our goal is to provide you with an intelligent offspring that truly reflects your smart choices. EctoLife improves your bonding experience with your baby thanks to a 360 degrees camera that's fitted inside your baby's growth pod you can use your virtual reality headset to explore what it's like to be in your baby's place see what they see and hear what they hear Using a wireless haptic suit connected to your baby's growth pod, you will be able to sense their kicks in the womb and share this experience with your friends and family members. With EctoLife, your baby will receive the best nutrients that can support their growth. Each group of pods is connected to two central bioreactors. The first bioreactor contains nutrients and oxygen, which are supplied to your baby through an artificial umbilical cord. This bioreactor also contains a liquid solution that serves as the ambiotic fluid that surrounds babies in the mother's uterus. It's rich of vital hormones, growth factors, and antibodies that sustain your baby's growth and development. Thanks to a system controlled by artificial intelligence, each baby receives custom nutrients tailored to their needs. The second bioreactor is designed to eliminate any waste products produced by the babies. The artificial umbilical cord helps the babies to release their waste products into the second bioreactor. With the help of a delicate layer of engineered enzymes, the second bioreactor can then recycle waste products and turn them back into useful nutrients. This way, the facility ensures a steady and sustainable supply of fresh nutrients to your baby. With EctoLife, miscarriage and low sperm count are a thing of the past. Prior to placing the fertilized embryo of your baby inside the growth pod, in vitro fertilization is used to create and select the most viable and genetically superior embryo, giving your baby a chance to develop without any biological hurdles. And if you want your baby to stand out and have a brighter future, our Elite Package offers you the opportunity to genetically engineer the embryo before implanting it into the artificial womb. Thanks to CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing tool, you can edit any trait of your baby through a wide range of over 300 genes. By genetically engineering a set of genes, the Elite Package allows you to customize your baby's eye color, hair color, skin tone, physical strength, height, and level of intelligence. It also allows you to fix any inherited genetic diseases that are part of your family history so that your baby and their offspring will live a healthy, comfortable life free of genetic diseases.
Say goodbye to the pain of childbirth and birth-related muscle contractions. Ectolife provides you a safe, pain-free alternative that helps you deliver your baby without stress. The delivery process is smooth, convenient, and can be done with just a push of a button. After discharging the amniotic fluid from the artificial womb, you will be able to easily remove your baby from the growth pod. Everything is perfectly designed so you and your partner can enjoy the delivery process. To ensure full transparency, our post-delivery free DNA paternity test helps you confirm the genetic identity of your baby so you can return home knowing that your baby is genetically yours. You don't have to worry about power cuts or carbon footprint. Ectolife uses highly efficient, clean, renewable energy consisting of solar and wind power. The highly advanced pods operate with minimal energy needs, making it easy for your baby to make it to full term without any complications. And for those who want a more convenient solution, Ectolife is made accessible so your life can be easier. Thanks to our miniaturized bioreactors and long-lasting batteries, you can use Ectolife growth pods at the comfort of your home, allowing you to incubate your baby in your building without the need to visit our factory. By owning your special growth pod, you will have the ability to build a happy family, one baby at a time, away from any birth complications. The concept of Ectolife facility was designed by biotechnologist and science communicator Hashim Al-Ghaili. It relies on groundbreaking research work that has been conducted by scientists and engineers since 1950s. Tired of waiting for a response from an adoption agency? Unable to find a suitable surrogate mother? Worried about pregnancy complications? Worry no more, because Ectolife got you covered. Ectolife, reinventing evolution. Well, isn't that something? What do you guys think about that? Um, <laughs> so we become so lazy that we don't even want to go through the burden of trying to have a child uh, by natural means. Um, this is a direct result of, of feminism, I think. Uh, and I think that, that it would be hard to, um, to dispute that. And um, This is just, I mean, that's, that's a lot to kind of take in there. Uh, but, you know, uh, BGS has been talking about this at least for the last, you know, three, four years about this coming. And um, it was foreshadowed by uh, the Matrix, I think. Uh, one of many things that probably will be will come to uh, to reality from from science fiction. Um, but uh, there, there are quite a few things uh, that were covered in that in that promo video. Um, you know, they're, they're telling you it's just, it'll, it'll just be easy and convenient. And we hear all of the excuses, you know, that women make about not wanting kids. And we know that, you know, part of, um, the, uh, the pay deficit between males and females is, is, you know, due to the fact that when women become pregnant, they lose, um, time. Uh, that they can earn money and work and, and things like that. So they take a big hit. So now they're going to make it to where they don't have to, you know, even do that. You know, you don't even have to uh, sex will just be for uh, for fun if uh, they choose to have fun with you. Uh, but I'm sure a lot of them will, will feel like it's just not necessary. You know, uh, we're moving towards that now. Uh, where we, you know, every, they want everything, um, all the benefits of a relationship, but uh, don't want to have to uh, participate in any, any sex or to, to give as, as much of themselves or as little of, of themselves as they, they possibly have to. Um, 
I see uh, one of the problems being that the science is probably stepping out ahead of the, the ethics of, uh, of this proposal. Um, genetically engineering babies, you know, altering babies, um, you know, I understand that if it, if it became, things became so, uh, uh bad, uh, with the birth rate in certain countries that they would have to resort to things like this, but for this to be put out, say in the United States, like right now, which I, I, I see this being implemented in the United States because, um, the, um, the, the white population is not having enough babies. Um, you know, uh, Hispanics are having a ton of babies. Black folks aren't having a lot of babies. Um, they've gotten rid of, uh, of the, of abortion rights. They're working on contraception. And I think this is coming from, um, above, uh, so that they can, you know, get, get more babies into circulation. I mean, because the future of a country relies heavily on, uh, its birth rate and, uh, the, reliability of the number of citizens that'll be able to come out and to work and make the economy work and build things, uh, and maintain, uh, the infrastructure and things that, that, uh, that society relies on. But, uh, you know, this just makes everything, uh, so impersonal, um, and I feel like it's just going to take us further into a mindset that things that are natural are um, optional, you know. So um, I look forward to uh, to seeing what uh, what social scientists are, are going to say about this. Um, psychologists, you know, uh, medical professionals, I'm, you know, it's pretty you know, straightforward with them. Um, first generation technology will probably be cumbersome. Second and third generation uh, um, hardware will probably be a lot better uh, as well as the software. And, um, you know, it's just, uh, this is, this is a lot, you know, uh, a lot that's going to, um, that I think is going to, going to affect us, you know, in some positive ways and some detrimental ways. I mean, we've seen the, the, um, the, the ways that social media has affected our, our social interaction. Um, and then once we start seeing this type of, of technology being implemented, you know, I just wonder um, how this is going to going to pan out. Um, but I'm going to, you know, keep my eye on this. I'm going to, you know, uh, look into a few other things uh, about what what people are saying about this and, and uh, some of the you know, the ethical concerns uh, about, you know, genetically engineering babies and growing babies in tanks and, you know, buildings, you know, that are, you know, automated to take care of them for, you know, the entire uh, nine month, you know, gestation period. So uh, I thought I'd share this with you guys uh, and, you know, you guys tell me uh, kind of what you think about this. I'm kind of excited yet uh, a little uh, concerned about this, uh, but it is a interesting uh, development to say the least. Um, I think I'm going to show the artificial um, embryos as well uh, that they have created. Those were, were animals, if I'm not mistaken, uh, but I will uh, I will do a show on that as well. Um very, very interesting. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, please uh, let me know what you think in the comments and uh, we can uh, chop it up in the comments and uh, discuss, you know, some of the the things that are, you know, going around, bouncing around in our, our brains uh, for this. But uh, thank you guys for uh, coming and hanging out and uh, I will see you guys on the next one. Like a mother